All right, so this is a really cool little local neighborhood village <clears throat> that I ride my bike through whenever I come back from the mall. Uh, I go to the mall for the gym and uh, shopping. That's where I buy my berry juice, blueberry juice and blood orange juice. Super good. This is a really cute little town here. So I thought I would make a little video on my way back home. Home. I'm talking like Canadians do. Hang out with Canadians too much. Listen to Steve Isdell too much. <laughs> it's about time I, got, I go home. It's about time. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to be funny. You can't try to be funny, you just gotta be funny. So I'll stop trying. All right, so I guess this is like German architecture or something, I don't know. It's not Chinese. It's like a, a German, German style. Don't ask me why. There's some rice. Hey, buddy. There's a wet dog in the rice. Uh, okay. Wet dog on the rice. At least he's clean. I think he was just recently washed. Just recently washed. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's such a nice day. Such a nice day for a bike ride. Which way should I go? Let's go the, there's, we've seen enough of the village. Let's go to the farm. Let's go to the farm. I'll show you these trees. Super pungent smelling trees. There they are. Chinese must really love that smell. <laughs> like I said, it's not bad, but it's not like that great either. It's just pungent. Literally, I was on the top of those mountains over there. Yeah. And I could smell those trees from the top of the mountain. And those trees are not on the mountain. Oh, can't get away from it. Oh, good thing it's not bad. It's just not good. Keep repeating myself. That's okay. Repetition is not a bad thing. See, farm burned. Quite smoky, not necessarily industrial pollution. It's just burning season. It's like um, September in the Willamette Valley. The Willamette, actually I think we pronounce our own home wrong. It's uh, Willamette, it's a Native American word, not a white man word. Hi, hi Didi. I never use Didi, okay. I always use my bike. All right, so this is the farm road. Good thing about the farm road is it's quite beautiful. The bad thing about the farm road is people drive like a bat out of hell on this road. Why? Because there's no cameras. So they can get away with going as fast as they want. So I'm always sticking way to the right side. And yeah, being careful not to get hit by one of these cars. Like, you'll see, here comes a car. <sighs> yeah, so it's beautiful. And fresh. And it's probably at least a kilometer long. Then we get to the highway and then we're about another kilometer to get to the school. No, hey, look, no hands. I'm flying. <clears throat> I really hate cars, so, <clears throat> especially in China, because it, every time I get a DD, I get in the damn car and the car's too small. So I'm all hunched over, cramped in this car. Like I can't move. Uh, I feel bad for the, because not all Chinese people are small. I got students who are bigger than me. 
So I kind of feel sorry for these, these guys. Most of them are guys. Yeah, fast. I feel sorry for these guys because uh, some of these Chinese guys are huge. So it's like, how do you fit in China? You can't. Anyway, I never take DD, so it's no big deal. D oh, by the way, DD is like Uber. I think Uber, right? Yeah. So DD here is the Chinese version of Uber taxi. And it's really convenient. Uh, but I literally haven't taken a DD by myself um, almost never in this town. I think it was rainy one day and I was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna take a DD to the store. It's like one time. And then the other times I was with friends going to like a restaurant. So we all take, took a DD together, split the tab or the bill. And uh, yeah. I can, I can literally ride my bike to the mall and the store faster than if I got a freaking taxi. And the reason why is there's our school is way on the outskirts of town. So you gotta wait sometimes 10, 15 minutes for your taxi to arrive, okay? And it takes me 20 minutes to go to the mall on my bike. So by the time I get a DD, I would already be halfway there. And then it takes 15 minutes for the DD to arrive at the mall or the supermarket. <laughs> Screw that, just get on the bike. Get on the bike, I roll out of there. Don't mess around with no DDs, even when it's raining too. You know, I just get my, I get my shitty backpack and I put, on, put my cell phone in a plastic bag and I just go, I get, I get wet, I bring a towel, I get to the store, I towel off, get to the store, I just towel off, clean myself and go shopping. No problem. I am from Oregon, so if you know about Oregon, uh, we're not shy about rain. Like Oregonians don't even use umbrellas. We just walk in, we just walk in it. Because normally when it's raining in Oregon, it's not like a heavy uh, tropical rain. <sighs> okay. So we just say, screw it, let's go. Put on a jacket. Put on the North Mang. North Mang. <laughs> Makes me laugh every time. Oh, so cool. So funny, the North Mang. Yep, yep, yep. Beautiful. Hey, share the road, buddy. Share the road, buddy. All right. Let's take a right here. Let's take a right. Stay on the right side of the road. China, we drive on the right side of the road. All right, so there's my, uh, that's the school water tower. There's the campus. And my apartment is right there behind the hospital. That's the hospital, I think. That big building, or I don't know. I've never been in there. Uh, it's being renovated. The green and yellow, I think, is the pool. However, I've never been in the pool. Uh, apparently, teachers can use the pool, but uh, uh, I'm not a big swimmer. I go biking and hiking. Not a big swimmer. There's, there's the apartment. It's windy today, so I gotta stay out of the forest and the mountains because in the forest, in the mountains, there are killer trees everywhere. Widowmakers everywhere. Okay, because the trees are rotting. They were rotting all summer. 100% humidity, wet, uh, raining every day, monsoon season. So a lot of the trees are just rotten, rotten to the core. So <clears throat> I'm a wildland firefighter. 
and uh, we're very aware of killer trees. I need killer tree ribbon so I can mark the killer tree ribbon. I need a uh, <laughs> I need some cobra ribbon so I can mark where the cobra was. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I need a hard hat. You're a, when you're a firefighter, always have the hard hat on. You get out of the truck, first thing you do is put on your hard hat. Why? Because there's killer trees in the forest. Got to be very vigilant. Watch out for those widow makers. All right. Here is the crossing. Let's cross. Let's cross. Let's wait. <laughs> Let's wait a minute. Uh, uh. Oh, bad timing. Oh well. Enjoy the view. Oh man. Must be uh, <coughs> near rush hour. It's like uh, 3 o'clock. Yeah, so today's not a good day to go to the mountains because it's so windy. Not to mention, like, it's super dry. Like, it's almost like fire season here. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was a wildfire, if the weather keeps up like this. Windy, dry, you're walking in the forest, it's super crispy. Let's go. Super crispy. Crispy means burn, it will burn. Crispy leaves and sticks. And... Hey, that's my student, Anderson. Hi. <laughs> What's he doing here? It's holiday. Okay, some students, they don't go home <clears throat> for one reason or another. Kind of like, oh, uh, a lot of my students are from pretty, pretty far away. Uh, so they don't go home. And I'm from pretty far away too, so I don't go home either. So, yeah, I got students who are from, uh, they're from West, Western China. Yeah. I got Uyghur students. Or I have a Uyghur student. So he doesn't go home. Sometimes they stay at school. Sometimes they get a hotel or something. And actually the school has their own hotel. Um, but... Uh, So, but I don't know why they can't stay in the dorm. Maybe because they're unsupervised or something. So, I don't know. I don't know a lot of shit. All right. Here we are. <sighs> Playground. So, this is a holiday. So, I would say 70% of the Chinese staff go home on the holiday. So it's really quiet here today, and tomorrow will be the last day, um, which I like. <clears throat> you don't have the dancing grandmas. <laughs> no dancing grandmas. Uh, no families, like chalk, like clogging up the stairwell there. It's just quiet. Just quiet and nice. <clears throat> All right, so let me show you one more thing. <clears throat> 